Hello and welcome back to 100 Coding Challenges in C Sharp. This is episode 25 and it's called Name Order. In this challenge, we're going to write a program that asks the user for three names and then uses nested if statements to display them in alphabetical order. For this challenge, we're going to be using the compare to function. So this is a string.compare to. I will put in a link in the description. If you haven't used this function before, you can click on the link to find out more information. I'd also like to note that you will need to test your program very thoroughly. There are six different ways of arranging any three given names. Your testing should cover all six of these. Another note is that you will get unexpected results if you do not use capital letters consistently. This is because of the way that characters are stored using character codes. So make sure you cover that as well. If you'd like to give this a go yourself, then pause the video now. And let's begin. So I'm just going to start off by writing a title for my program called sorting three names. Then I'm going to ask the user to enter the first name. And then I will store that first name into a string called first name. I'll then ask them to enter in the second name and uh, and then name and do the same thing I did for for the first name. So now we have uh, all of our free names stored in a variable. We can start writing our if statements. So the first if statement we'll do is we'll do if first name dot compared to second name is less than zero. So um oh, second, second wrong second name less than zero. So uh, if you look into compare to and how it works, what it will basically do is compare one string with another string. If this string that you're comparing is before this string happens before this string, then you will get a number below zero. If it's equal to this string, so if first name and second name are exactly the same, then you will get a zero. If first name follows second name, then you will get a number greater than zero. So what we're basically saying here is if first name is before second name, then what we want to do is do another if statement uh, to check if first name is before third name. And once we've got that in here, we can then check if second name is before a uh, third name then in this case we know that first name is before second name and first name is before third name so that means first name is the first name in the list um, and then we're saying second name is before third name so we know that first name is before second name so it's first name then it's second name, then it's third name, so that we can output that order back to the user. What we've also got here is that uh, we know that in here, it's first name is already first, um, and it's because it's before second name and third name, but if second name isn't before third name, then we know that it's third name second. So here we can do else uh, In fact, I'm going to copy this one Get rid of this one and what we're going to do is change this around. So it's third name first Then it's second name Like that we also know that here we can output something else because we know that first name is before second name, but first name isn't before third name. So third name happens before first name, 
and because first name is before second name we know we, we've got this order here so we've got third name then first name then second name cool now let's add an else to our main if statement where we can check if second name dot compared to third name is less than zero then so here we're saying that we know first name comes after second name so what we can check is if second name is before third name then we know second name is first so then if we know second name is first we just need to check if first name is uh, before or after third name so if we do first name dot compared to third name this way we know the first name is before third name so what we can do is here we can say we know second name is first then it's first name then it's third name and otherwise else we know that it's second name first then third name then first name and if second name isn't before third name then we know it third name comes first so we'll copy this again and it's third name second name then first name lastly what we want to do is add a dot to lower to lower to our values and this is to stop um, the inconsistent results that we get with um, uppercase characters so all the um, values that we will be comparing will all be in lowercase so let's go ahead and run that now so for the first name let's say the name is amber then the second name is bob and this third name is amy and there we go we can see it's been ordered in the right way amber amy and bob so one thing that is a bit wrong with this is that you know we take in the night the name with capital letters and then we output it back in all lowercase and that's because we're changing it at the start what we can do is switch this up a bit so that we can keep the original values so what we can do is add in um original to these names so let's do original And we'll get rid of these dot two lowers. And what we'll do here is we'll create three new variables where um, these won't be the original ones. These will be the lowercase versions instead. So in here we will do the original ones dot two lower. and what that basically means is that now if we do that same function again oh uh, this is wrong let's just save that now if we run that it's also the first name let's do the same three names again because amber bob and amy so I've changed Amber to lowercase, Bob then Amy like that, but it's still outputting it in the same way. What we've done wrong here is just the original. So we want to compare with the lowercase, but output the originals. 
So I'm just going to change all the first names to first name original. And then second name to second name original. The same as third name. Okay, let's do that one last time. First name, Amber. Second name, Bob. Third name, Amy. There we go, Amber, Amy, Bob. That works. So that was um, actually this statement here. So we had uh, Amber, which was the first name, and then Amy, which was the second, which was the third name as a second place, and then uh, Bob, which was in second place as the last one. But we can see this is in order. So um, let's just do this for all the different scenarios that we've got here. So if let's we run this again, I'm going to use um, Amber, Bob, and let's say Charlie, just ABC, just for, to be a bit clearer. So for the first one, we want, you know, uh, first name, second name, third name. So it uh, does it properly. So in the order that we sent it in, so let's do Amber, Bob, and Charlie. And then we can see we got back Amber, Bob, and Charlie. Let's run again. This time we'll do Amber, Charlie, then Bob. And that also works. Amber, Bob, Charlie. So this one was first, third, second. We'll do it again. And this time we'll do uh, Charlie first. So Charlie, then Amber. Then Bob, you can see Amber, Bob, Charlie, that also worked. Then that was this one. Now if we move down to second name first, first, then third. So second name is Bob. First name is uh, Amber. And third name is Charlie. Amber, Bob, Charlie. Uh, second name first again, so Bob. Then Charlie, then Amber, Amber, Bob, Charlie, and Charlie, then it's Bob, then it's Amber. Ah, I didn't add this as a starting with a, with a capital letter. So that's fine. That came out exactly how we, we wanted it to, but still Amber, Bob, and Charlie. As you can see, this is now fully working and it's sorting the three names in the right order and also taking into consideration the case sensitivity of the input um, with uh, outputting back to the user the exact same um, type of thing that they entered in. I found this one um, quite interesting actually because um, I'm forced to use an if statement, nested if statement to solve the issue where there are um, other solutions, especially within C Sharp that make it a lot easier for you to actually sort stuff um when you're using arrays for example you can do dot sort or you can use um link which has a function called order by and this will automatically order your array in um alphabetical order or even if it's numbers sort them in, in numerical order so you wouldn't actually you know ever write your code in a way like this to sort a list this would be completely unreasonable like uh, and wouldn't scale very well at all um but at least it helps you kind of understand in your head logically how to piece these uh, different inputs together. Um, I hope uh, you, you enjoyed this one and you were able to follow. Um, let me know if this was uh, like a bit too confusing, if I need to try and explain things better. Um, and I'll try and, you know, improve of that. Let me know if you didn't understand anything and I'll try to, you know, I'll reply to your comments and stuff like that as well. Um, so please don't be afraid to just leave a message or send me a message as well. I'll be happy to help. And on that note, um, I will obviously ask for the obligatory uh, likes and comments and subscriptions. Obviously, turn on the notification bells. Um, I am posting weekly now, so... Um, yeah have your notifications on if you want to be notified when i release videos if you want to uh, keep up with these challenges um i do have more content coming soon which isn't these challenges that should be very exciting so keep in tune for that as well um i'll see you guys in the next one